Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of creating a blogger template from scratch and we have started converting our code to the XHTML code in our blogger theme. So if we go to the theme option and if we click over here and go to edit HTML, here we have copied a lot of our code into this uh, blogger theme code and uh, this is our result as of now. We have the navbar, the hero section and also the footer and we also have the animation of the search bar as well and it is also working alright. So now in this video I will show you how to create body classes for your blogger template. That is the body tag of your template. It will have different classes depending on different pages you view. So if you are on the home page, the body will have a class of say home page. And if you are on a post, then uh, we will have a different class name for the body. So in this way, we can have different styling for different pages. So for example, if you want to style just the anchor tags of the home page, then you can style that differently by typing, for example, dot home page and then the selector of the anchor tag. So all the anchor tags of only the home page will have that style. So it is a good practice to add body classes to your blogger template. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create an alternate header for our website. So right now this is the header in which we have the hero section and this is a header which has the full height of the browser window. So you don't want the user to scroll down every time to view what is on the page. So we'll have this hero section only on the home page. So whenever the user visits the home page, this hero section will be displayed. But if he's on any other page, then we will have a simple header. So we'll just display the heading of our website and also the description. It will be the default header widget of the blogger theme. So you may have seen that in a lot of blogger websites. So let's get started. First of all, we'll add the body classes. So let me go to the website and uh, let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let me show you the body tag. Here we can see that this is the body tag and it doesn't have any classes as of now. So let's go to edit HTML and uh, here just after the body begins, let's start with the code. Now there's a tag in blogger called B class. So it helps us add classes to the parent element depending on some condition. So let me show you how to write the syntax. We'll create a B class tag and uh, then we'll create a condition. So we'll type cond equals and in the condition we will uh, type what page it should be. So first of all we will create the class of the home page. So here we'll type data colon view dot is home page and if it is the home page then we will give it a class of home page. So here we'll just type name and you can give whatever class you want over here. So I'll just give it a class of home page and I'll just close this tag. What this basically does is that it checks whether the current page is the home page. And if it is the home page, then it gives this home page class to the parent element. So the body is the parent element. So it will have the home page class. So let's just save this and uh, let's refresh our page and uh, let's inspect and see whether we have the class home page. And uh, let's go to body and here we can see in body we have the class home page applied to it. Now let's go to another page. Let's go to the search page. So let's click search over here. So let's search for something over here. And now this is the search page and we can see that the body doesn't have any classes. So the class home page will be added only to the home page. Let's go back to the home page. And now we have the class home page. So in this way, we will add uh, a couple of classes. So let me just copy this line of code and uh, I'll paste it once more. And uh, here we will type data view is single item. So that means if it is a page or a post, then uh, we'll give it a class of item view. Now let's check whether it is a label search page. So let's paste it once more. And uh, here we'll type is label search and uh, here we'll give it a class of label view and we'll add one more for the search page. Now for the search page we have to type data 
colon view dot is search but when we just type is search then even the label search will be counted so we want to make sure that it is not the label search it is just a simple search of a keyword so here we will add one more condition so we'll type and is not equal to so for not we have to type exclamation point is not equal to data colon view dot is label search so it is a search page but it is not related to label search so that will give us the search of a simple term and I will give it a class of search view all right that's it with all the body classes for our template so let's save it and uh, since we don't have any posts or pages let's just test out the search here we have the home page class for the home page let's go to search and when we search we have the class called search view so in this way all the classes of the body will work all right now the next thing we'll do is we'll create an alternate header for our website so this is the header for the home page for all the other pages we will have a basic header so for that we have to set an if condition to this header so that it will only be displayed on the home page so let's search for this header and uh, this is where the header starts from so before this we'll add an if condition so we'll type b if c o n d equals and in the condition we will type data colon blog dot url so if the blog url is equal to data colon blog dot home page url and this whole header will be inside the if condition so after the header let's close the if condition all right let's save it and uh, let's test whether the header is being displayed in any other page let's go to the search page and now we can see when we are on the search page the header is not being shown but we also have some issues with the styling of the nav bar so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's select the top nav I think we also have to give a top position of zero or that fixes it so let's go to the top now and uh, let's add this line of code top to zero so let's go to the CSS and for the top now we'll give top position to zero All right now let's add the default header widget of blogger so let's scroll down and uh, let's go to the end of the current header so this is the end of the current header let's go over here and uh, let's create the new header so here also we'll have an if condition and we'll check whether the home page is not being displayed so let's copy this and we just have to make one change over here we have to change this to is not equal to the home page url and uh, let's close the if condition over here all right now let's create the header widget so to create a widget you have to first of all create a section so we'll type b section and uh, we'll give it an id of b section header and uh, we'll close the b section over here and in this we'll create the header widget so we'll type b widget and we'll give it a type of header and the id will be header one and uh, let's close the widget over here all right that's it with the alternate header let's save it and uh, let's refresh the search page and here we can see the header is being displayed but uh, we have to add some more styles to make it visible but if we go to the home page the header is not being displayed so let's add some styles to the header let's go to the CSS and uh, here we'll add a comment alternate header so let's check out what are the classes that are being added to the header let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, here we have a class called header so we'll target that so we'll type header and uh, in this we will give it a padding top of 70 pixels and we'll also give it a margin bottom of minus 42 pixels and let's save it and let's refresh our page and we can see the header is being shown correctly over here let's also set it to the center and we'll also have the dancing script font applied to the 
h1 so let's go back to the CSS and uh, here we'll type header and uh, let's go to inspect and uh, for the header which is the h1 we have a class of title and uh, for the description which is a paragraph we have a class of description so these are what we're going to target so here we'll type h1 dot title so this will select the h1 which is inside the header so let's give it a font family of dancing script and we'll set the font size to 56 pixels and uh, also text align it to the center let's also remove the underline and give it a black color so here we'll type header h1 title a because inside the header we have an anchor tag so we'll set the text decoration to none to get rid of the underlines and we'll set the color to black and let's also text align the description to the center so let's type header description and we'll type text align to the center and let's save it and let's refresh our page and this is how our alternate header looks let's go back to the home page and uh, here we can see this is uh, our main header which is on the home page and whenever we go to any other page we have this header being displayed so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day